so I was like lying to like everybody, like nobody knew where I was at. What's good, Nessa Gang? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's good? Make sure you like, thumbs up, subscribe, and be a part of Nessa Gang because Nessa Gang is the best gang of all gangs. Period. So, today's gonna be a fun video because I'm going to be reading my diary and trying to tell y'all stories and stuff during it. I might not get to that far, but I'll stop reading once I finish doing my hair. So, I'm gonna install this wig because I haven't had one in forever and I have to promote it. So, that's what we're gonna do. I haven't done one in forever and I definitely have never styled a tea part wig. I bleached the nuts, but let's just get started. My hair's under here looking a little crazy, but it's okay, baby. Let me get this together real quick. I was gonna braid it, but it's a little bit nappy and I don't want to really brush it. So I'm gonna split it in two, do a little twisty do, ding the bobber. Let me put this medicated dan anti-dandruff stuff. I don't usually start wearing wigs until my new growth is like crazy and needs a touch up. And it's not there yet, so I'm just gonna literally put it on, get a couple pictures, then take it off. And it might be my go-to because I haven't had black hair in a long time. It's literally freaking 6.30 p.m. and I should have started this as soon as I woke up. But I'm currently obsessing over the Sims right now. So I've been procrastinating and it's really dark because it's freaking November. So it gets dark at like five. So I can't even take the pictures I planned on taking outside. I have to take them inside. So I have to make sure the lighting's right. Ugh. I actually drank some coffee too because I just have not been energized lately because I've been up all night playing Sims. And now I'm like really freaking hot and out of breath. I'm not really a coffee drinker. Quick, quick, quick. Hopefully this little bobby pin is strong enough. Okay, now I'm about to put my cap. Just kidding. Apparently no cap because I cannot find it. And I honestly don't feel like melting it and doing the most because like I said, I don't plan on having it all forever. Why am I talking through this? Let's get started on the story times while I read this. So y'all don't think I'm lying. Here's the diary. So it starts on Sunday, February 10, 2013. So I'm Calculating correctly, I was 17. This is where, if you've been watching my story times of getting kicked out at 17, this is kind of where it starts. I was just getting to the main points, but I was reading a couple little passages and I was just like, oh my god, I sound like I'm so much younger. But like when I get a diary, I'd be so excited to write in it. So I literally just can't wait to write anything. So I think that's why I sounded so childish. So Sunday, February 10, 2013. Good morning. I woke up early. I called it Hello Kitty because it's a Hello Kitty. I said, Dear HK, good morning. Woke up early. Actually got woke up by freaking Jimmy crying about how sick he is. Jimmy is my cousin who passed away not too long ago. RIP. Crying about how sick he is. So I couldn't go back to sleep because he was so loud. Sigh. So woke up an hour ago at about 8.30 a.m. I was just talking nonsense and I honestly did not need to put that much glue. I really want to get out of the house and go somewhere. I've been in the house all weekend. I guess that's the price I have to pay to be able to go out every other weekend, to be bored for one week. Deep breath. I just want those weekends to be crazy fun if I'm going to waste every other weekend, you know? And then I put like th that little sign, I mean like a little key in the beginning of my um diary of like what things meant. So the key means like things that I was thinking at that moment. So key. The fuck I got a mosquito bump on my wrist for. And then another key, this color pink is pretty and girly. I was writing with a pink pencil. I said, talking to my best friend now, got homework, but don't know how to get off the phone. I never do or want to. Yeah, she was my ride or die day one. Like we just click from day one. We try to chill as much as possible. We never had any classes together because she was a grade above me. Next passage. So this is two days later. I'm so mad right now I didn't go to my Latin old field trip today because the mother effing neighbors that freaking sucks because I've been looking forward to it since last week I even got up early but no their stupid car got stuck for 10 minutes so as soon as I pulled up the bus left I needed a break from school and work and now I'm sitting in my second hour Miss Matthews class not doing anything so much attitude this is the next day once again 
in journalism doing nothing. Yesterday was good besides the Latin Oak thing. I was dressed up nice and didn't think I really argued with anybody. I'm dead. Well, I gotta argue with somebody every single day. I also had a long conversation with Dale. Dale was my mom's gay best friend. He lived with us for a point of time. I think he was like originally like supposed to be one of the roommates or something like that. But we became like really close like family. Anyway, yesterday... <laughs> Day. Yesterday was my sperm donor's birthday too, by the way. I slightly feel bad about not saying happy birthday, but shrugs because he never remembers mine or my sister's scumbag. <laughs> Who says that? I hate how he think every I hate how he thinks everything is okay. He called me like three or four days ago out of nowhere, but I never answered the phone. I'm so done with him. Also, I just remembered that I need to buy my Greyhound ticket for Thursday night, aka Valentine's Day. Woo woo. I think that was my Greyhound ticket. I usually only went to the Greyhound to visit my boyfriend at the time because he was in college, lived two hours away. So I used to buy Greyhound tickets. It was only like $30 to go see him. And in my story times, his name is James, if you don't remember. Three days later, Saturday, February 16, 2013. Dear HK, happy two years and six month anniversary to me and me at more. That's what we call each other. James. <laughs> Aiming for three years, I'm spending my four day weekend with my babe. I came Thursday night. So yeah, I'm slightly upset we didn't go to the party last night. It ended up getting shut down before we couldn't finish getting ready. I think a couple weeks later, I did another entry. Dear HK, haven't wrote in here for, in forever because I've been so tired lately. I started working at five-ish Tuesday afternoon. So about a week before this entry, I started working at Panda Express. Ready? Did I start working there? I don't think so. No, I didn't because I was still in school. I started working at professional maintenance, basically cleaning offices. And they always tell you, oh my God, we work with your school schedule, but they really didn't. I couldn't leave until I was done and I could never be done until like 11, 12 at nighttime. It was so annoying. But anyway, glad I'm making money, but it's super exhausting. Right now I'm listening to my best friend tell me the Frankenstein story. Sigh. I got a test tomorrow in Miss Cooley's class. Key, I got this test thought and i stopped i don't know um a couple weeks later dear hk in my room cleaning i got an act on tuesday the mme tuesday through thursday plus work got to get plenty of rest ugh slept so many hours today i'm tired of sleeping but yeah i'm like super stressed out about the act i want at least a 20 that means i'm somewhat ready for college i'd rather be that than not ready at all haven't been to class for like a week it seems like not good especially in miss cooley's class holy crap i forgot i got a novella due tomorrow in class great my mom needs to get the fuck home from work okay well I'll talk to you later it's almost eight and i'm aiming to sleep at nine Key, Sheena's song, look back at it, is nasty. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, let me, let me focus here. Wow, I look like a completely different person. Okay, now I can see where I messed up with not wearing a cat because my hair is like, <laughs> keeps wanting to lift and I don't want it to lift. I got a facelift FS, I'm dead. Okay, next. Dear HK, sitting in my room again, got out of school a couple hours ago, got done taking the second test of the MME. I'm so exhausted, took the ACT portion yesterday. I feel like I got about an 18. I'm gonna be real disappointed if I got less. If I did, then well shrugs, I'm gonna do better next time. Key, positive thoughts. Didn't go to work yesterday. They're working me to the bone. I was even crying Monday. I lied and called in sick. I wonder what she will say. I don't know what that meant, but okay. That was March 6th. The next one is March 21st. I'm gonna let that sit. I'm not about to cut off any lace or anything. It starts off finally in my room at 8, getting to put my sister to sleep. Happy, but got some homework to do, plus help my best friend. Can you believe my best friend wrote two essays for me? One for journalism and one for English, but total she wrote three. I love my butthead so much. We used to call each other butthead and beavis. 
Cause I used to call her butthead and then like, she was like, oh, butthead and be this, you know? She knew I was working and things are hard and time was limited, but now that I'm not working anymore because I missed a day and they replaced me, the tables are turned and I got to help my sis. She's been babysitting her siblings for a week, which is a week of school that she missed out because her freaking parents want to go to Miami, I think. Mind you, she was going to cosmetology school so she was paying for these classes and stuff she was a babysitter for a really long time and that's kind of made us fell out too because i was like okay you're being childish and it's like for me i was like i got my own problems and i'm trying to tell you like this isn't right and you know it's not right but she just had a big heart and i guess her i don't know what was the situation to the t but i just knew she was in a bad place and she wouldn't let me help her and she wouldn't listen so, okay so she missed a week because her freaking parents want to go to miami i think so now she's got like a million and one assignments to do the same day wait so she has a lot of assignments to do period the same day she got the assignments was the same day i got fired or replaced maybe there was a reason why i got fired now that i think about it he thought Man, what the fuck is a radio CD player? Wow, where the fuck is a radio slash CD player at? I can talk about my sis all day. But I got to go finish my homework so I can help her. Toodles. He, uh, I seriously need to write her back. That's so crazy. CD player while I was 17? Wow. Dear HK, this is March 22nd. Thank God it's Friday. I'm currently chilling in my room and enjoying my Friday for once. Kind of glad I don't work there anymore. Anyways, I feel all squeaky clean. Just got out the shower, lol. So I guess I'll talk about how I got fired. Dot, dot, dot. See, what happened was, dot, dot, dot. There was this concert, Macklemore and Ryan, and I sort of, kind of went to it since it was everyone's first concert. It was me and James and his family members. One of his family members was supposed to come, but he was acting like a little B word and said no at the last minute, even though James bought it already. So his other brother had to come instead. Okay, but I called in sick and I talked to Vicky, the hiring person or boss, and told her I was throwing up all day and couldn't make it to work. She said she's short three people already, so she needed me to be there. I'm like, okay, I'll see if I can be up for it. And she's like, um, no, you need to be there working at 5.30. I said, well, if I gotta go, more likely I'm gonna throw up on the job. She just says, you still gotta be there. You need to be more reliable. Then we hang up, like... What am I supposed to do if I'm sick, theoretically? Like, really? So I made one of his brothers tell them an excuse for me and didn't go. So I basically made one of his brothers call in and like vouch for me or whatever. And then I ended up going to the concert. Mind you, I didn't really have social media. Like I had a social media, but it wasn't like anything trending or popping or anything i like i didn't talk about it or nothing so there was no way for anybody to know that i was on a concert forget them though that made me mad so the next day my boss leaves me a voicemail talking about how she got somebody to replace me blah 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 and i could pick up my check friday which was today but didn't make it in time so i got to wait till tuesday because that's what i'm free i have upper bound tutoring oh dang that's crazy upper bound upper bound tutoring monday but all oh well, I gotta see my babe and see a concert in person. Woo woo, Macklemore. Mind you, I didn't even listen to this man. I just knew the pop tag songs and nothing else. I guess everybody was just excited to go to a concert. But it was trash, by the way. Dear HK, I think this is the next day. Guess what? Yeah, I have no idea what I was gonna say because I never. Oh, so like there'll be times where I'd like write and then stop writing. So I said, guess. And that was it. And then I picked up another day. Guess what? Yeah, I have no idea what I was going to say because I never finished. But instead of wasting this paper, I just write on here. So it was actually April 2nd because that's what I wrote next. Dear HK, so surprise, surprise, I'm not in my room right now writing this. I'm actually in Chicago with my family. It was my older sister and her children and Dahlia. I don't know who that is. I think that's her best friend. Whitney is getting ready for work. It's 10.45 a.m. My last day here. Well, tomorrow is technically, but I'm leaving early in the morning, like afternoon. So this is my 
full day. So this is the next day. Dear HK, my bad, I got sidetracked again. I'm currently at the bus station in Chicago. It's 3.30 and I got here at 1 something. My bus doesn't board until like 5.35 p.m. I was supposed to come in the morning, but Whitney was afraid I wouldn't have made it in time because of the morning traffic. She had to go to work and no one would drop me off, so she brought me here early. At least she knew I was here and was gonna make it on the bus. I'm not gonna get to Ann Arbor, which, I was still in school. So I'm not gonna get to where my boyfriend's at until about 11 p.m.-ish now. Ugh, shake my head. I could have been there by now. Uh, what? So I would have took an early bus. I think I missed my bus and so we rescheduled. And yeah, yeah, so I missed my bus. We rescheduled till way later so I could make it in time. Oh my God, this old guy is trying to talk to me. <laughs> this is the second dude, but he seems friendly talking to me about college. But yeah, I still got a good amount of hours left and tired AF. Too many creeps here. So, and then here's another put. Yeah, here's another paragraph. So my dad called me the night I got here. I expected the worst. Surprisingly, he didn't raise any hell. At least not yet. Thoughts. Uh, I hate talking to him. He asked me basic questions like how am I, my grades, my boyfriend, etc. But he also asked what I was doing for the weekend and my address so that he could and my iPod. Pause. If you guys have watched my Amber Alert video, this entry is after that Amber Alert. So I had a diary before this and I had two of them actually and I can I don't know where they're at and I hope that eventually I find them. But I did the Amber Alert and I'm not sure if I wrote about it or whatever. But anyways, I did that Amber Alert story. So I really hated his guts after that. Like he was dead to me and he took my iPod. He said that he got it fixed. So like for years I've been asking for it, he's been using it, that as an excuse to talk to me. Moving on. So he asked for my address, supposedly to send my iPod. There's a lot of details that I'm too lazy to get into, but then I had a thought. Oh my god, I'm in love with this $4 jacket, coat, or whatever that I bought. And then I just stopped the thought and I just continued another paragraph. And I said, yeah, so my brother calls me talking about how my dad is in Michigan with his girlfriend. Like, WTF. Her name is Maribel, however you spell it. But yeah, he thinks I'm here till Sunday, so he might try to pull something around then. I don't know. I'm on my way to Ann Arbor soon. Dear HK, so spring break was over three days ago. Okay, so I think I went to Ann Arbor. Okay, what happened? I think I had spring break and then I spent half of it with my sister and the other half with my boyfriend, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I was being slick. I think I told her like, yo, I want to spend half of it with you, half with my boyfriend, something like that, I don't know. But dear HK, spring break was over about three days ago, but for me it was two because I took an extra day just because I didn't want to leave my babe. Came back Monday afternoon, I actually felt a little good coming back. Feel somewhat different. Oh, I think I remember this day. So like, my mom didn't know that I was with my boyfriend. She thought that I was still with my sister. So I was like lying to like everybody. Like nobody knew where I was at. And I didn't want to leave. Like we, we both went to the bus stop and I was crying. I didn't want to leave him. Like he was my best friend at the time. So like we were crying. He was so sad. He's like, well, I don't do anything tomorrow. Like I was like, I don't want to go. And he's like, do you really have to? And I was like, we started plotting. And I was like, no, let me just stay. So I told my mom something about the bus wasn't running or I was late so I had to get a new bus and she bought it so I missed that day came back the next day so bad okay continuing it feels somewhat different my mom won't stop talking to me about hair oh yes my mom's way of bonding I guess was through like hair and wigs but I was never into hair and wigs because I was in high school and people childish like they'll pull that thing off they call you old for like wearing lipstick like you know childish days so I used to like not understand anything so I used to be like okay mom like but yeah, so she can't stop talking to me about hair. She don't get that I can't afford it since I'm not working. So it's really annoying me. Speaking of my job, I need to call Debs to see how my application is going. Oh my God, I do not miss those days of trying to apply places. I feel less stressed because I'm starting fresh again as far as school. April, starting fresh. 
I don't know. I'm not sure what my grades ended up like because I'm too scared and I know how stupid my teachers can be sometimes and how lazy they are and complain. Okay. Anyways, my spring break was great. Better than the past few years, especially last year when my dad tried to keep me in Joliet, Illinois. I have some pages ripped out of here. I don't know if like I needed to write something or I missed a page so I ripped it out. That's interesting. But um, yeah, that's when my dad tried to kidnap me. Okay. It's not really kidnap, but yeah if y'all watched it y'all know what i'm talking about but he didn't try to pull anything which is a miracle thought if he james don't get up he was supposed to be up at eight and it's nine i don't know why like why am i reading this why am i with him i'm in school still i don't understand but i'm gonna keep reading but yeah i had fun i fun spring break spent time with my sister her friends niece and nephew and my love and my love i feel like i needed another week to adjust but i guess i can settle for one it's not like i have a choice anyways but anyways i'm tired of writing tired period fell asleep at two ish because i don't know because i'm just so used to staying up lately i miss my best friend my boyfriend my sister niece and nephew Ugh. okay i'm done for the long day i had because of upward bound tutoring and i'm gonna stop that at tuesday april 16. i'm gonna stop there because this video is getting long i'm about to cut off this lace and do my thumbnail or whatever and then get to doing what i had to do but let me know if this video was entertaining it kind of sounded boring but y'all could like get a feel for like what was going on it's definitely about to get more juicy as y'all already know <laughs> So it's just reading my diary word for word and how I felt about everything and then giving you a little bit of insides and side stories But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up Because it does help me a lot. I know everybody says that but it really does. Please give it a thumbs up and um, If you're new to my channel and you've been like binge watching my Story times and I look completely different. I was just watching some story times from the week I was watching the story times from like the first video and I was like wow I look so different. So you're probably like whoa the upgraded 2020 Vanessa Lane Period I'm dead, but yeah, I love you. That's the gang and I'll see you in my next video